Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 175. I'm Neil. I'm Annalise. Hello, loony, loony, loons. All the loons? Why am I three loons? You're three loons. <laughs> You're loon tray. You're tray loon. Tray loon. That's actually that's really good. That's our new good. French restaurant, tray loon. I was going to say, that's actually a really good name for a cafe, mm-hmm. tray loons. <laughs> what does that mean? You're crazy. Times three. <laughs> that's you're... what that means. <laughs> Ooh, it means you're at the right place. Right. That's what that means. Uh, how are you today? I'm good. Okay. Well, that's that's. Good. Thanks for elaborating. That's mm. awesome. I, I it's hot and I'm good. <laughs> All right. I'm happy that uh, we had the air conditioner on in the daytime and then we got home and it was nice and cool inside since it's like a zillion degrees outside. Yes, the air conditioner. If you hear a little background noise, which you won't right now because the door's shut, but when I open the door, mm-hmm. you hear a little background noise, it's our air conditioner. I don't think it'll come through too much because like that one day the guy next door um, was using the leaf blower. You could barely hear it and it sounded so loud when we were here listening to it. Right. Speaking of which, tell the f- nice folks at home what our podcast is about. Since it's about us. We've already dived in. For those <laughs> who have been listening, we very much appreciate it. For new listeners, it's a weekly podcast about uh, Annalise and I. We're married. We live in California, and we kind of talk about stuff, mostly us, mm-hmm. and some other stuff, right. but mostly us. Mostly us. And we just like to have and a good our dogs. time. <laughs> and our dogs. And sometimes other people's dogs. And sometimes our kitty. And sometimes other people's kitties. True. <laughs> we are all about Right. Equal living, opportunity. Living things. Dogs and cats. <laughs> uh, you can go to darkangelsprettyfreaks.com if you want and check us out. You can also email us or call us or whatever. Oh, we do have uh, maybe a little bit of news Ooh. on the front of podcasting all right we might be uh suspending our app we have an app right and we never really used it to its potential so we're kind of thinking and there's only a few there's only a handful of people that use it out of the there were a lot before right and then i think it drops off well as time went on people realized like why do i have a separate app for this one podcast right even though we think it's really cool it's just it doesn't really serve a purpose other than Making us we feel think it's cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. And apparently we don't think it's that cool anymore. So, right. I listen to it. So That's all how of those I listen to our podcast. Who downloaded but, the app you know. and have the app. Very much appreciate it. It's been it was so cool and so much fun to have yeah. our own app. Um and uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. True. We'll be appless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's I funny. want to just take a sip of my beverage. Oh, you yeah, have anything to say? Um I you have mint on your lip. Do by I the really? Way. Yeah. So that's just let's just dive right into that. Um, Neil made us mojitos. We're having mojitos. Mojitos. Um, mojito. I know that in the past we've yeah, had them. You, I don't know. If I you still care have. Or not. I don't, <laughs> I don't well, care. Just, can you point out? Point out. But like the bottom. Oh, just, it's what? still there. It's like dried on your face. Well, let's just go with it. it it's fine. Wow, that's impressive. I don't know where it is. It's on your. It's right here. No, no other side. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Oh, I can taste it. Now it's on your front <laughs> no, tooth. No, really? It is. <laughs> Are you just making fun of me now? No, no, it's Go gone. On. It's gone now. Oh, I got it. Yeah, there That's was. hilarious. <laughs> so. I used to work with this girl. Her name was Jacqueline. I remember this distinctly. But she um, always used to fall for... The, I, used, I don't know why, but I just... She used to be very, very concerned about her appearance all the time. And she would always look to see... If she had stuff on her face or food in her teeth, and she would always be like, "Check me. How do I, you know? How do I look? Like, do I have food in my teeth? Check me." And she would like do the smile, like look at me, like and her eyes would get big, right. like, "Hey, look at me. Do I look okay? Do I have food in my face?" And then, um, so it became kind of an ongoing joke that I would point at something like on her face, like around her mouth or something like that. I'm like, "Oh yeah, I got a little something like right here," and she'd be like, and "Oh, like right here, there? right?" But it would go on for like a really long time, and I'd keep moving my hand around, like up to her cheek. Like, oh, like over to the nose. Like, no, no, it's a little, see, okay, now you just moved it over. And it would go on for like, maybe like a full minute, which is actually a really long it's time. a long time. And then, and, I'll, and then after like a minute, she'd be like, and she'd be like, and she'd go, ah. Oh. And then I'd just start cracking up. And I'm like, there's nothing there. And she, but you do it every time. Like, it happened often enough to where it was an ongoing joke. And I think it's really funny. Because I'm like, no, no, a little, little, no, no, like, up, look, no, a little down, no, no. <laughs> anyway, that was a little funny. I, yeah. Back to mojitos. <laughs> Back to me. So I, um, oh, whoa, got to move that. I <clears throat> don't really drink that much when we're at home. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was, you were in the mood for mojitos right. last week mm-hmm. or the week before. So I uh, bought this to make mojitos and I, I had a couple. Mm-hmm. And Been enjoying it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could see the disappointment in your face last night when you're like, 
oh, are you going to have another mojito? And I'm like, no. And right, like, I was like, oh, oh okay. Great. <laughs> and then you're like, well, do you want one? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> Very rarely is it that you have someone that encourages you to drink more. <laughs> I tell Annalise, like, oh, you know, I'm really not going to drink that much. And she's like, oh, that's that's shame. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, well good. I mean, you're fun anyway, but um, I also like it when you're tipsy. And mm. I think that's an okay thing to say about somebody else that you're fun well, when you're tipsy. And I like it. And I I'd enjoy rather you, you. Didn't say it about somebody else. For sure. But I meant about you. I think that's okay to say about another person in general. Yeah. One person to another. That's great. That I enjoy you when you're tipsy. Boring, normal. Got to get I some alcohol in there to have some fun. I did not Lovely. say that. I did not say that. That's it. Podcast is over. I'm leaving. I'm taking my mojito but, um, and I'm going home. You make these a little bit different than traditional, apparently. Well, I, it, this is a recipe that I mm-hmm. found online. But I was trying, because I know you like things a little, you like your beverages a little sweeter. Mm-hmm. So I was trying something a little different. But these mojitos are made with Diet 7-Up instead of club soda. Right. So they are a little sweeter. And for me, I don't know if you do it for you, but you put a little sugar in when you yeah. smash that's, the mint. That's, yeah. yeah. That's what's needed when More you're sugar. using yeah. well, Diet 7-Up. Well, Diet 7-Up makes up for the diet. So. Mm. <laughs> makes up for the bean diet. Mm-hmm. So diet sugar mojitos. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> now you have mint on your lower teeth. No, really? <laughs> yes. No, are you just messing with no, me? No, I swear. I need a mirror. I can... Uh, no, it's there. If we're, oh, son of a shit. Yeah. You talk while I look in the... I'm going to do my camera and I'm going to reverse it so All I right. can look at myself. Hold well, on. Uh, is it there? See? I wasn't lying. Shit, hold on. <laughs> no, it's all gone now. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you can... I know. If you watch YouTube the video, video. <laughs> you can see Annalise paint, uh, picking her teeth. Sorry. Come on, man. Speaking on. of YouTube videos, mm. you want to yeah. get into it? Let's Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Do you want to? You, you do wanna, it. You want me to do it? Yeah. All right. You're just so much better at talking. <laughs> wow. All you do is talk. You just talk and talk and talk. I didn't say that. Sometimes I I'm said like, you're better you at it. Just shut up. If you could just please shut up. I like you tipsy and I like you talking. <laughs> I don't know if you like me talking all that. Not much. always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Not always. Uh, so, Annalise. Mm-hmm. Well, no, it sounds stupid that I'm. No, you should say. I don't know how to. I don't know how to break into it. I think that you explained it really well earlier. So, well, why don't you say what it is, and then I'll explain why. I, Annalise, <laughs> being of sound mind <laughs> and body, mostly body, um, mostly body, <laughs> sound mind and mostly sound body. Oh, okay, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Look, I have no gone mind. Gone a little I'm off body. rails after vacation, during and after vacation. But um, I am considering starting... You're not considering. I am started the process of <laughs> starting my own vlog, which will contain Neil and the dogs within it. Not a lot. But at first, um, anyway. At first anyway. Right. We'll see how it goes. See how you do. <laughs> see. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> but... Um, but um. But um. But um. But um. Yeah. So um, there's, I don't know. There's a couple things that a uh, couple things hi shout out um led me to this point of uh trying this out and uh help me out here <laughs> okay for those that don't know people do daily vlogs on youtube that are insane right it's ridiculous i don't know what the hell people are watching <laughs> these things for. it's insane to me i actually watch some of them you do i watch i do too there are guys that have car vlogs and mm-hmm. i watch them mm-hmm. and i enjoy them and Annalise has been watching makeup tutorials on YouTube mm-hmm. and vlogs. Of- it's led me to the little uh, wormhole that is the, the vlogosphere. And um, there's a few that I watch. And a lot of them have, like, cats and stuff in them. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> so shocked, right. And so uh, some people have said to Annalise that she should start a vlog because of the different things that she's into and that, as people know from listening to the podcast, more of her and less of me is a good thing. <laughs> so uh, we're uh, we're in the. I'll be mostly doing camera work mm-hmm. and editing, mm-hmm. but we're in the process of getting the na- the brand name of which the we're brand. supposed to do. So weird. <laughs> and uh, getting everything in order for this, and you'll be doing what is it called? Product influencing. Um, there's a whole uh, other style of YouTube that's uh, done by influencers, as they're called, or whatever, and you kind of do like product reviews and things like that as well. 
and you do um, like shopping hauls and unboxings and uh, uh, again, kind and of do like other product insane, reviews. Kind of insane, useless As, things. Right. Other useless things that go along with your daily vlog lives, vlogging your life. Yeah. So, so more of me is this what you're going to get. <laughs> right. This has been in the works for a little while, but now we've actually, we're moving to the second phase, which right. is... Implementation. <laughs> yes. So it's very interesting. We're going very through the R and D phase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I uh, thought it would be fun. We'll obviously we'll talk about we'll it be talking more. about it more so because it's part of our lives, kind of like with the podcast. Right. Is we're not by I'm any not gonna... means trying to pimp you guys to go also watch a vlog and you right. know all of that. You guys spend time. a lot of time. If you with guys us want already, to, so. <laughs> by all means, right. That's <laughs> awesome. But this is going to kind of be a. A different venture. Mm-hmm. Uh, this will actually be a little bit more of a financial venture in a way, too. So it'll be very interesting to see how things go. Right. And, uh, yeah. But it's kind of... it's it's We're excited and nervous about it. All right. And uh, we'll talk about it more when yeah. it gets rolling. And we'll obviously let you guys know all that. Annalise has been practicing uh, vlogging, <laughs> which in itself should be its own vlog because it's pretty epic. You should just record... You watching me attempt to vlog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be its own hilarious channel by itself. It's funny. You you realize that the people that are good at it and make money doing it and all that, it, that it's not as easy as just talking into a camera. So not at all. Not at all. Like, I, it's, it's a very... People who do it and people who do it well are very good at it. Like, and it takes a lot of work and it's a lot of hard work and you have to be really comfortable not only working by yourself but like you have to be super self-motivated super super self-starter but like um there's a whole nother level of being able to like talk into a camera it's like acting but acting by yourself and you don't it's have direction acting being yourself but without filming yourself. yourself i mean you're your acting. own film you know your own producer your own editor your own well you won't be your own editor right I could producer. be eventually, but no, you um, will be, but right, but you know, anyway, so it's just a whole nother level. And so, like, um, having learned all of these things, uh, it's, I've gained a whole new respect for like YouTube and people who do all of that stuff because it's not easy and it's really, really it's not, not like having a podcast. No, no, not at all. <laughs> and it's not easy to get up in front of people, not only put yourself out there, but to create content and to actually create the content and film it and edit it and get it out there like every week is an insane amount of work and dedication. So it's actually really yeah. interesting. So. And, and if nothing else, I just went into full it was, business. It talk was, mode I know you I, did. Sorry. You gave a Ted talk. You're welcome. <laughs> it's uh, it was, well, I mean, I wasn't asked, but it was for me, it was flattering even to just be told that, Oh, Hey, this is something you should do and, and you'd be good at and get on it. Right. So anyway, it's pretty cool. That was kind of neat. That's it. <laughs> So we're going to do more stuff that revolves around us. Right. Yay. But this time we're going to try and get other people's money to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Where the podcast was is truly just for us. For fun. Yeah. And just having a good and time. And the vlog is going to be fun as well. But I mean, like, obviously. It's yeah. going to okay. be <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. Let's talk about our day. And what's funny with the vlog and stuff mm-hmm. is you have to have open comments so people can say like crazy shit on right. YouTube. And the people on YouTube are so much more horrible than on Twitter. And you think Twitter's bad? Welcome to the YouTube world. Like it's just the people say the gnarliest shit to other people. I was it's crazy. I was watching one. I of don't my, know if I could ever read it. I was watching one of my the vlogs that I like, mm-hmm. and this guy is selling one of his Ferraris. Mm-hmm. Actually, he sold it. And then in the comments, you know, they were they kind of make fun of him, and he he plays along with the people making fun of him because he's he's Italian, so they they call him they refer to him as spaghetti, <laughs> and so like you know it's like oh today you know spaghetti's going to sell his one of his meatballs and they, you know but <laughs> wow. then somebody down below all they wrote was n word n word n word n word n word dude's white so that had nothing to do with anything no. it was just being a jerk yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm like, that happens. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I've seen people like, um, in, in like in my watching the makeup tutorials and uh, vlogs and stuff like that, there's this one girl who's a f- really big influencer actually. And she recently got engaged and is getting married. And then she, and I didn't like watch all of that because, you know, I, that's great that she's getting married, but I didn't really watch that video. I yeah. watched another one of her videos later on where she was reviewing some sort of product or something like that. And, um, 
And in that, she actually refers to that video and and how she had a hard time with some of the comments, and she really appreciates everyone else like making nice comments, whatever. And and, and then she kind of went into like a, just a mini a mini rant about like why 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 would you say that about like people getting married? Like you know if you sure. you know. And I was just like, oh God, I wonder what people said. And then I was like, oh, I don't want to know. I don't want to know what people said. Like that's awful. You just <laughs> wait. <laughs> Well, you already said you're not reading the comments. And yeah. I'm in charge of all the comments. Yeah, Neil's in charge of all the comments. So you can call the voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like last week's voicemail, or free to last week's episode, we talked about someone calling our voicemail. I'm not going to... Well, I guess I'll have to listen to it for the voicemail episode, but that's it. <laughs> and we think we might have a, a name for your vlog, but we'll release it once we get, right. we'll hold get on it to all that. trademarked or right. whatever it's freaking called. Or mm-hmm. Certified. Copy- or, writed. Yeah, copy written. written wrote. What? Copied. Yeah. <laughs> So patented, we're gonna get this shit all patented up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a patent on a word. <laughs> oh, I'm burping on myself. What was it? Uh, Gene Simmons wants to do devil horns. He wanted, a, yeah, trademark devil horns. And as then, he, like he created it. <laughs> and then Nikki Six sent him the middle finger and said, "I'm gonna trademark this." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit. I think it was, was it last week we did our transportation stuff? Yes, last right. week you did our I, I, favorite five was transportation. One of the things that was really funny afterwards, the dogs are barking, uh, afterwards that I realized is that you were explaining to people what the Millennium Falcon was, just in case <laughs> nobody knew. Like, oh. Oh, no. I, no. Or did you not explain? Wait, I no, got no, it backwards. No. You, your number one was the Millennium Falcon. It was. And then you felt like maybe you should have explained what it was. I in don't case remember the story at all, do I? No, you don't. Yes. You asked, you knew, That's you know what, what it was. I said, I maybe felt I bad. Should, that I didn't oh explain God. what the Millennium <laughs> Falcon so was. I like yeah. how I put it on you and then I realized, no, it's totally me. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty much, Let me pretty much this. our lives. <laughs> <laughs> one of us, one of us blames the other person for doing something. Then we realize it was us. It's, right. Both of us do That's that all the time. Right. This time it was me. <laughs> right. I said my number one was Millennium Falcon, and then other when we were done and then recording, you're like, okay, great. I'm See like, you later. <laughs> yeah. When I was done, I'm like, I should explain. I should have explained what that was. And you said like most people won't know. Right. So for those of you who don't know what the Millennium Falcon is, it's a spaceship. That's all I got to say. <laughs> That's it. Okay. In Star Wars. Star Wars spaceship. <clears throat> yes. um, let's talk about what we did today. It's now Chewy spaceship. Spoilers. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about what what we did today. All right, so go ahead. Quack quack to the airport. Yes, if you listened a couple was it a couple weeks ago? A couple weeks ago, maybe About many three weeks, weeks ago, ago because she's been here for a month. Right. Uh, my cousin was visiting from Argentina, and it was time to take her back to the airport. To ship her back south, Mm -hmm. fortunately, ship her back over that wall, (laughs) and (laughs) rocket ship over the wall. As exciting as it was to pick her up, and Annalise had talked about how it felt satisfying because it's so exciting. We had that whole discussion about how she's so she's so uh, infectiously happy and fun that um, it was really cool to pick her up from the airport and have that whole experience of like, you know, what uh, I don't know. Dropping her off, she was. She was so sad leaving. She's been crying for about two days because right. she just she, she, cried. she wants to go home. Her her mom is about to turn ninety right. and is still alive, and she has two, two kids. kids and she has two grandchildren. Mm-hmm. So she wants to go home, but she also really wants to live here. And well, she wants to see us all the time. And yeah, and she she's was really just, close with your mom. She was crushed, but it almost makes taking someone to the airport kind of. I don't want to say enjoyable, but it makes it a true journey because the you you're like this person really wants to hang out with us, right? You know, I mean, it's not like oh, it's time to go home. You know, that was great, had a fun visit, but I can't wait to. You go. You guys can just drop me off at the curb. You don't have no, to come in. It's like I'll see she you later. Did not want to. Yeah, no, yeah, it was uh, the complete opposite. There was so many hugs. She was crying in the car, hugging. I love you. She cried kisses. the whole way. She cried to the, the whole airway. way. Yeah, airport. Airport. Yeah, it was just we got there. She started crying and she hugged us and. We're like, oh, God, this is going to be a horrible drive to the airport. <laughs> well, that's enough about that. Um, speaking of oh, okay. vacation. No, no, I th- figured. I'm no, I know. Playing. I'm just playing. Yeah, so it was so she, but she got off safely. Uh, she won't be in Argentina till tomorrow. So next week we'll tell you if she made it or not. <laughs> I'm interested to know how hey, the, dogs, how, the uh, pie holes. how many carry ons she got on that plane. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Sorry, that's for those of you that don't know. That's uh, the call for the dogs to come. And they and if and you heard did. the dog door, that was just that. Yeah. And uh, that will be in one of our favorite five some other time. 
Right. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you were saying? I was just going to say, um, I also, I was going to make a joke about how I, I, we need to uh, get the update and see how many bags she got on that plane. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> Well, I imagine she got them all on if she right. boarded. For sure. Yes. But, um, and then I th- it takes a, the, so we, for those of you who don't know, we live in Napa and it's a little bit of a drive to San Francisco, AKA the San Francisco airport, SFO. And particularly on the weekends, because San Francisco is beautiful and it's a very big and tourist destination. Right and so is Napa. And so it's a bit of a drive. There's so, a lot of traffic in and out of San Francisco. Did you catch, catch that bit of a drive? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> You're going to finish that beverage and not have nothing. Not have nothing. Wow. That is really proper English. You're welcome. So we live in the Ozarks. Mm-hmm. And we not have nothing. And we ain't got nothing. Yeah. No, ain't got nothing makes more sense than not have nothing. Not have nothing. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if it makes more sense, but it sounds more, more American. Yeah, true. It isn't, isn't eight in the dictionary now? That's terrible. Anyway. Why um, is that terrible? I don't understand this. Why is it? There were no words in the dictionary No, I understand point. that, but I just... And then people a, put words in there. Right. Because they made sense when they used them. Right. I guess... So yeah. if people want to say ain't and it works, who cares? I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess all language is technically made up because you have to be it's able to communicate. It's all made up. They're all made but up maybe, words. maybe... If there's a proper English and slang English, what what who who gets to make who the gets rules? To decide, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. People with money make the rules. They ain't got nothing, right? Okay, not no nothing. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. Um, so it takes a while to get there and back. And I thought it was hilarious today that uh, so both you and your dad have or still do work in the city of San Francisco. And I like the conversations that happen between you guys about how the best way to get home is. Get around traffic. Yeah. And there's a constant, and it's not an argument, not whatsoever. So I don't want to sound like there was an argument, not at all. Um, It's a discussion about how you think we should go this way and how he thinks we should go this other way. And they're a little similar, but there's usually one or two roads that's, you know. But he's, he's now, because he doesn't have a cell phone, he's pretty good about hate. If I tell him the traffic's bad, right. he that, won't believe that you me. You looked it up. If I say, oh, this app I have says the traffic is right. bad, we should go this way. Then he's like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll go that right. way. Right. But I also, there's, so for example, like today, like he waited to like the last minute to like take your advice. He's like, okay, so I should, okay. And we, like, we were at the stop sign and you're like, you should turn left here. You should turn left here. You should really turn left here. <laughs> and then he's like. Okay. And yeah, then he, he waited finally a while turned, and then yeah. he was like, all right. Because we were, we were in traffic, so we couldn't block the intersection. So right. it wasn't like we were just sitting there waiting. Uh, right. But, but I we mean, like, could but immediately we talked go about left. that for like, what, the 40 minutes leading up to that stop sign? What amazes <laughs> me is that he was born and grew up in the city. Right. And that's been there since he's been alive. Right. And that's what he and was he talking about. he never went that. that way. He was really impressed that you knew that. And he was like, I did not know that. It's this cool little <laughs> secret way to go actually under the Golden Gate Bridge on the San Francisco Don't side. Tell people. It's not secret. Don't tell people. Well, that's all right. <laughs> so, yeah, it was fun. So the ride home, and I tried to keep my mom cheery because mm-hmm. I know she's going to be really sad. Yeah. She said, uh, we were joking when you were um, talking to your dad by the car. We were joking. I was like, so what are you going to do? She's like, I don't know. I'm a little tired. I think I might lay down or take a rest. And then she said something about snacking. I'm like, you're going to snack and nap? And she started laughing. She's like, yeah, I'm going to snack and nap. <laughs> I wish they had plans to go to a movie tonight, like to go out. To do something, right? Yeah. she's going to feel sad. She's going to be extremely sad. Yeah. And, you know, then she's got to deal with my dad, which is going to make her even more sad. I like how, like, also, well, as soon as we got back to your parents' house, your dad totally disappeared. And we were, like, trying to say goodbyes and stuff because we want to get back on the roads. So we can, you know, trek back to Napa. Well, he wanted to get out of his shorts and shirt into a more comfortable shirt. Right. And no shoes. Yeah, right. So he, he disappeared for, like, five minutes. Then he came back and he um, had his shoes off and was wearing a T-shirt instead of his, like, nicer button up shirt and we're like oh okay <laughs> do you have something to talk about for a minute and a half i what oh no i don't nothing? have no no fine. um I, if you me, don't no, I, I don't know let me check my little thing you talk for a second when i check my notes. oh you can talk about this <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh all right so I my penis, by the way. <laughs> well there's a youtube video so people know you don't didn't do that so um Every now and then, well, Neil is the main cook in our family, as most of you know already, and um, that's not only because he enjoys it, but also because he gets home earlier than I do, and it's easier for him to 
to do that. So like if I got home earlier, I assume that I would probably cook more often. But at, at this point, Neil is the main cook and he cooks about 99.9% of the time <laughs> for us. But um, there's a couple things that I prepare for us every now and then. And one of them is uh, tuna salad. And um, so, you know, tuna and so my tuna salad is um, we do usually like tuna salad sandwiches or we've actually graduated to having just like tuna salad in I'm bowls so that we're eating that with like crackers. I'm so that says my tuna salad. I'm like, gross. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you make fun of tacos Nasty. too? <laughs> tuna taco. Well, speaking of, we had Tuesday last taco night. We had tuna tacos. <laughs> we did. Last night. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, so... Um, so sometimes if I make food, which again is pretty rare, um, one of the things I make is tuna salad and uh, my recipe goes as such. As such. <laughs> um, it's tuna, hard boiled eggs, red onion, and um, celery. And then my version has mayonnaise, salt and pepper. And your version has just a little bit of mayonnaise and mustard, mm-hmm. usually spicy mustard. And sometimes you also put hot sauce in there as well. Mm-hmm. And so I, I make all of those ingredients, but then I separate our two halves or whatever so you can make up your version or whatever. So the other nights, last week, in fact, um, it was a night that I was going to make this tuna salad for ourselves because it's one of super hot and so we didn't want to cook. And so I made tuna salad. And so I, and you were, and it was last weekend, in fact, it was last Sunday. So because you were outside doing stuff for the cars. And um, then, so I just had everything all prepped to go. And then, I actually started getting hungry, so I was like, hey, do you want to come in and have this stuff? And I put it all back in the fridge because I didn't want it to get warm because, again, it was You like, said it was last Sunday? Yeah. We should talk about that then, too. We should. All right. And um, I have that on my list to talk about, too. Okay. But I didn't want to talk about that without no, you. No, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, so he, he, you come in, he comes in. Neil came back in, and so I, I got I put our stuff in our bowls and... Gave, and I was doing mine and gave you yours, and then we sat down to eat, and we ate watching Winona Earp. Winona Earp. <laughs> Still one of my favorites. Um, and it was excellent. Right, and we talked about, um, and I, I think at one point I actually said, I'm like, the tuna's really this good. Yeah, really it's really good. good. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, it's great. And then, you, and then you said, you know, I'm still a little hungry. Yeah, finished. And I'm like, that's weird. You know, I'm still a little hungry. You know what? I am still a little hungry, too. Like, and, I actually, and then I actually said to you, most of the time I actually have some left over. Like mm-hmm. I take it for lunch the next day. And, um, but I not only finished it, I was still hungry. That's, you got, hey, you got some tuna. I got some tuna. <laughs> you got some tuna. <laughs> you got some tuna on your face. You got some meat. Amen. I'm you hoping some- later. You know what I'm saying? High five. <laughs> that's okay. There you um, go. So, and at that moment, I just stopped and I went, oh, and I looked at Neil and I was like, oh my God. And you're like, what? And I was like, I didn't put any tuna. Yeah, you tuna. said, I don't think I put tuna in there. That's and then you why... went and checked. Right. And, and there I was didn't. no tuna there in There was our tuna no salad. tuna. So we had egg salad, we had which egg was sal- excellent. It was really good. But since I didn't put in the two cans of tuna, it was like That's why it was half little... the food yeah. that we normally eat. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm weird with tuna. I can't, if we have tuna out of a can, uh-huh. I can't smell it. Right. I, I try to prep you, it while you're not in the kitchen. You can't. Yeah. You can't. You and I cannot, have to throw out the cans you right have to away. You rinse don't the cans out. And throw them out. Yeah. Or me. I mean, I'm not, I don't mean you. I mean, whoever right. has to I rinse usually, though, so you don't have to smell and it. And you can't put I don't it in care. the recycle. It's got to go outside. Yeah. I take it. I Ugh. don't leave it in the kitchen. I rinse it out. I clean it out. Take it outside so you don't smell and it. And if I smell it, I, there's and been I a, didn't there was one time I couldn't eat it that day because I smelled. The, the tuna. Right, because I left the can in the sink or something like that. No but one likes a stinky, stinky tuna. Nobody does. So, yeah. So we ended up having a very delicious egg salad. But at excellent. no point did either one of us notice it no. <laughs> until after because we were still hungry. I just think that's hilarious. We were just like didn't think about it because we had other stuff going on. So we weren't totally focused. We're like, yeah, this tastes great. Whatever, whatever. But there's no tuna in our tuna salad. <laughs> I... uh Real quick, I just want to jump back. We were talking about uh, my cousin going to the airport, and I'm still in such vacation blues mode that last night I was watching some fest from Jamaica Live. Yeah. And I could only watch a little bit at a time because I got bummed. Like, I'm like, yeah. I want to be there at yeah. some fest. <laughs> some fest is Which a reggae, go anyway, a week long reggae but... concert yeah. in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. No, we would not go. But I mean, I'd like to go, but I don't. Want to spend a week at a reggae concert? Right. <laughs> well, it's not just reggae; dubstep. Right. Yeah. But you got want to go out and see the island or whatever. Thanks for bringing your really loud, crunchy bone in here, Nine. That's all right. It's Nine's what they back. Do. Yeah. What? So did you hear him? Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Yeah. He's barking. Oh, okay. It's easy oh. to hear. Yeah. 
Well, I, th- I thought he was talking at first because no. he does that talky thing. No, he's but, not uh, talking. He's barking. Are you going to talk about Sunday? We can. We're going to talk about something that's going to make us sound like a couple of a-holes. Well, we do that a lot. So. Right. But this is really going to make us sound like a couple well, of a-holes. Well, I think you can present it in a way that so- makes it sound slightly less a hole I don't know. How? Possibly. I don't know. Well, why don't you present it then? I, <laughs> I don't know if I can. Um, as some of you know, we have a... We have as some of you know, we're going to start out with one of the most a holy things you can say. Since you guys pay so much attention to our lives, as some of you know... Well, I'm d- d- just saying. So we have had a Subaru Crosstrek. We ha- we ha- yes, and we liked it, but yes. it wasn't our favorite. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest; mm-hmm. it wasn't our favorite car. And great car It is a great car, and it, the it was really easy to load the dogs in and out. Very nice inside. They jump in and, and out on their own, right? <laughs> Meaning it's a little bit lower, so they can get in and out on their own. I don't have to like pick them up or to get them in or anything like mm-hmm. that. Um, it was very. Loud, very loud. It picks up a lot of road noise. Yeah, very, very loud. Like to the point where we both commented on it and talked about it at length, <laughs> and didn't have the best stereo and a few other little things. Mm-hmm. So again, like the car, but didn't love the car. And stereo is not a big deal. I know you can put in another stereo. We actually swapped out speakers mm-hmm. and put in trying to make it better. Right. Uh, Did some things to it. Not to get too technical, but one of the reasons I didn't want to switch out the actual. Head unit was because um, I think Subaru uses a 12 volt rear view camera, and most cars use a six volt. So you needed a step down. I either I have that back. I might have that backwards, but right. it 12 volt. But to it six was volt, another volt whole scenario. But it was a right. whole thing, and it was it was just like I don't. My days of rewiring car stereos are kind of behind me if it's not super simple. And right. we actually went to go look at having it professionally done, and then we were like, why are we spending more money? Because it was, it was one of those things that I was trying to like the car more, so right. I, I did all these th- like things to it. Right, to right. make it more yours. We talked about like eliminating like the, the chrome it. and the right. custom this mm-hmm. and that. And I just – it's a nice car to drive just around town. It uh, had a great steering radius. Handled amazing in the snow. But as we talked about before, it was a little uncomfortable for me to drive because of the way the seat is shaped. And but the car like the car never grabbed me, which is right. funny since I drive a freaking Fiesta. Right. And I love that car. <laughs> well, I just think that certain people like certain cars. Like there's tons of people who love the cross track. Mm-hmm. My best friend Ninja it's has great the exact same car. car and she it's loves it. It's a great it. car. So we I just like the some, car. I just you didn't like driving car. it because you weren't comfortable in the seat. The seat was And it was really you. loud. And, yeah, that's a good reason. Right. Yeah. And so anyway, so we talked about trying to sell it, to do something with it and buy something else. Right. And I have a friend who works, who's a, uh, a dealer manager at Ford, henceforth why we I've had Fords. so many right. damn Fords in my life. Well, and, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, go on. No, no, I, you'll explain it. But I, I just think that it's a really cool thing to be able to trust the person that you get cars from. Right. <laughs> so. And And we have this understanding that. I want him to make money on the deal because that's how he feeds his family. So I'm right. not trying to get something for free. I just want it to be fair all the way around. So it's right. nice to have somebody who and, – and many times he's – because I have a weakness for cars and motorcycles. He said, do he's, not he's do this deal. He's outright told you this is not a good deal. Do not do, not do, do what not you want to do. You know? <laughs> and then you did it anyway. And I did it anyway. Right. <laughs> um, and he was right. And he's also said, no, this is a really good deal. Right. Uh, you know, if you, so, like this is the best deal I can get you. So, so he, uh, so I, Annalise and I were talking and we thought if there was a way that we could sell the Subaru and mm-hmm. make some money off of it and then maybe get into a different vehicle, we would do that. So I called him up and I said, Hey, here's our plan. He was able to find a buyer where we could, we made some money on the Subaru and then we picked up a Ford Escape. Mm-hmm. We're actually leasing the Ford Escape because the other two cars are commute cars. Right. Uh, you know, we have, so this, this car doesn't, we don't put a lot of miles and we can save a bunch of money by just leasing. And now <laughs> that leases are so cool and so easy to flip, it's right. not a big deal. We're actually um, saving a couple hundred dollars a month. We're saving quite a bit of money. <laughs> so, and so, uh, so it was fun, but here's where it gets really assholey. Not like having Here three new car. cars isn't a holy enough. Right. Newish. Yeah. But the car gets delivered to us. 
Like we don't go to the dealership. He comes. Well, yes. We met. But we met he for, offered. We met for beers. We had. We had some. It was a Sunday snacks. afternoon. We had, we had beers and exchange beer snacks, cars. and then so. uh, we signed the paperwork for the car. Yeah. In the car, mm-hmm. and then he took our Subaru to go sell to who he had a buyer for, mm-hmm. and left us the new Escape. Right, and then to even be more a holy, Annalise, because I had beers, you didn't. I had a, I had, and I can't now because of my head and my um, what is it? What do I have? Anxiety. That no, but my head issue, my from the concussions. Yes, <laughs> if I have any alcohol at all, like it throws my balance way off. So right. I, I, ha- I can't, I can't even have a beer and drive anymore. So anyway, right. so I had on Lee said, well, since you like beer more than I do and you've been friends with Glenn. Right. Cause you I guys have. are friends. You guys yeah. have been friends for so 20 years. A, I've only, we met, only had a couple, I, it wasn't yeah. like we were there getting hammered, but I can't drive at all. Right. So, uh, so you drove us home in the new car mm-hmm. in the new escape, which was about a mile and a half. Right. <laughs> and then it sat in the driveway for a week. We right. didn't drive it. But we did today. <laughs> but we did today. <laughs> but it's, it's really talk nice. about talk about a couple of a holes. We're jerks. It's like, oh yeah, sure. you bought a car to just sit in the driveway. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. And the reason it's in the driveway and not in the garage is because Annalise really likes parking in the garage. I do. We can I fit, leave in the morning when it's still dark. We and can like fit two in cars car. <laughs> in the garage if we didn't have <clears throat> all the crap we have in the garage. Right. So one car could fit. Well, I think that it's one of those funny things where like a lot of people don't stick any cars in the garage and have that much crap. So mm-hmm. I think that having a half car. And still being able to move around a little bit. Half but car. Being ha- half garage. Oh, have right. one car. I think that's actually pretty okay. Oh, it's I'm okay fine. with it. Yeah, our garage right. is on the smaller side anyway. But yeah, it was. Uh, and the interesting thing is that this car is a little bit bigger. So if it's in the garage, it would take more space. And I kind of like too when you're at work and I come home early, I have the full garage to work, work on my in. bikes yeah. or work out or and right. things like that. So I've actually uh, sometimes. Oh, that reminds me I have to take my bike in. Every now and then um, on the weekend, if I want to work out, I'll either move the car or if I work out on the weekends that you're not home. Because, for example, you have that very busy time coming up where you won't be home a lot. So I'll be working out at home more often so I can get home earlier and skipping my workouts at work and mostly doing it at home. And um, I will leave the car outside. Let's just pull it in later. And, yeah, and then pull it in later or... Pull or it, just, or just it I or pull it out and work out and pull it back in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, so having that space to work out in is really great. So anyway, not that you guys all need to know that. So now we have three black Fords. We're jerks. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. We can. So that's either three black Fords is the title of the episodes or no tuna tuna. No tuna tuna. <laughs> no tuna salad. <laughs> no tuna tuna salad. I thought it might be too long, mm-hmm. but. You could put no tuna salad because then it would make sense when you listen to it. <laughs> I don't know why we're talking about the title. Speaking of which, I didn't think about it, but that salad should be on my list. On my fave five list oh, for today. you put it on. But then I have to kick something off. That's fine. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Fair, That's funny. Fair enough. <laughs> do you want to do leather? Oh, I guess so. Let's do that. All right. Here's a weather report. It's 92 degrees, 47% humidity outside, 79 degrees with 52% humidity inside. A peak below today of 11 miles an hour, average of 7 miles an hour, and at recording time was 6 miles an hour out of the east. It's 29.86 barometer pressure, and it's very sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Even though it says it's 6 miles an hour, right now looking out the window, there's no breeze at all. <laughs> there's it's no hot yeah. and sunny and amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, suck Welcome it. Welcome to California. <laughs> There we oh go. my gosh! You know what oh. we forgot to talk about when we went to the airport? What? Your dad and his brain and his brain and about how if when he said when I get older you guys can you know put the diapers and the no, go no go ahead I'm gonna say it because you have to say it okay oh <laughs> so my dad as he gets older he forgets how to speak so he was saying when he gets older and gets L timers. Right. Well, we're gonna ha- he's going to be throwing his like, poop and changing his diapers. What? And I said, did you say L-timers? And he goes, yeah, what's it called? It's L-timers. No, it's <laughs> Alzheimer's. I think that he was going to say either old-timers or Alzheimer's, and he mixed the two somehow. I don't know. He got L-timers. He got L-timers. And I then I also told him. him that I wouldn't be doing that because the nurse at the home would be doing yeah, that. Yeah, I told him no one's going to be doing that. <laughs> We're not doing We're that. We're not taking care of you. We're taking care of mom. You're on your own. You're going to be in one of those really gross old folks' home where like they're dirty and nasty, smell like. No one's going to 
going to change you. You're just going to have to roll around in it. It smells like a <laughs> bathroom bar at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, gross. And that's the where it, it's clean. Oh, yeah. Lord. We're going to. Yeah. L-timers. L-timers. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. You know, when I get the L-timers. <laughs> Something and you have to wash me. I'm like, that's not going to happen, gonna Dad. Happen. <laughs> that's what you're talking about. Yeah. That's why my sister moved. <laughs> and he, he said that. He's like, when you and Fabiana, I'm like, oh, you mean Fabiana's just going to like, it's like fly down and clean you up? She's not doing that. She's going to call somebody else to do it. For you new <laughs> listeners, my sister's name is Fabiana because my parents can't name somebody a decent good name. <laughs> Fabiana. Is that an Argentinian name? What is that? No, it means bean, I've heard of means bean grower. Does it really? In mm-hmm. Spanish? I, no, I don't know what language. Probably well, Latin. Well, Italian, because he's Italian. Who's Italian? Your dad. I guess. Fabiana Vanessa Di Genova. Yeah. No, what a That's name. a long-ass name. Yeah. That's <laughs> too funny. All right. All right, tell me what else you got. That's it. Well, you got something at the bottom there. Hmm. You don't want to talk about that? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into our favorite five then. <laughs> Fair We're enough. gonna roll right over that one. There was something else I wanted to talk about. Well, you have a whole list of things there. Uh, I talked about them all. Oh, yeah. Well, very chatty. Uh, what? We are very chatty. Oh so. yes. Um, plus, I think now that I have an extra um, honorable mention on my favorite five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of modern room up, we're using our history of bad ideas koozies. Koozies, cheers! Shout out to Hobie, even though they don't listen to our show anymore. Jerks. What? I mean, what? <laughs> oh, also, should say congratulations to your brother for a successful Kickstarter. What's it called? Kickstarter for his comic book, Curse of the Vessel. Yeah. Yep. yep. Curse Cheers. this vessel. Also that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for those of you who don't know, we got our well. A lot of podcasts have top fives, top tens. Top 27s. But we got our, we got the idea for doing ours from History of Bad Ideas. Right. So the History of Bad Ideas podcast do a top five and they always do their top five plus like 27 honorable mentions. So it's actually like a top 35. But we do a favorite five <laughs> when we try to stick really close to the five as much as possible. Yeah. But today, yeah. Because I can, in honor of yeah. Hobie, which is what we call History of Bad Ideas, yeah. um, That's we're going to hope, call we're gonna of Hobie ideas. it. And uh, maybe do an honorable mention. Okay. How do you think about that? Oh, I didn't put mine in order. Oh, I also was going to say that we listened, mm. we both listened to um, How Was This Week, Honey? How Was Your Week, Honey? Mm-hmm. And they did a top five. Uh, yeah, it was funny. About, I saw that Canada. you said, I thought that you said like, oh, you're kind of like doing it like Neil or like no, us. No, not like us. What I meant was is um, not like they're doing the top five like us. They did, like Chris did his top five like you would do your top oh, five. Oh, oh, I misunderstood. And, and Kristen did her top five, and hers was like, her, his was very specific, uh-huh. and then his number one was her. And so I'm like, oh my God, that's so Neil's, like the way Neil would do his top five. Oh, and then, I got gotcha. you. And she I did hers very vast and vague, like encompassing all Canadian food, for right. example. And I'm like, I would so do that. That's like yeah. totally how I would do my favorite five. So anyway, so that's what I meant. I didn't mean like, Oh, they were copying us. That's not what I meant at all. I want to find out how many <laughs> bar fights she has started. Because I think that is an excellent. I think if topic. she's been drinking and they're out, I think she could be a little bit of trouble. I mean, if you get slapped <laughs> on the side of the road by another driver, then something's up. Yes, that has happened to her. I think it would be fun to hang out with them. Right, that would be hilarious. I also think I'd need bail money. But right, I'm just saying. Well, maybe a little, it, it's little a great, older, it's a, great a little podcast. wiser. <laughs> There are so many great couples podcasts, but theirs is really, really good. Right. How and was your week, honey? There you go. Look them up. Oh, They're and by Canadian. the way, start a How Was Your Week, Honey freaking Twitter so I can tag that. <laughs> freaking I have pimp to your tag, show. I tag both of them. I tag both and of them, then them I too. Then hashtag the no, initials. Yeah, but there's no direct link to their freaking podcast. Oh, right. So you can't, so you can't link it for people? Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. God. There you go. Damn it. I'm trying to help you out here, man. Yeah, Come on. quit being so nice up there in Canada. Freaking market, market, market. <laughs> Pimp it's your shit. One thing we're learning <laughs> with this vlogging thing, it's all about marketing and branding. So chop, chop, chop. <laughs> God damn it. How was your week? She, uh, Kristen's a How was your week, motherfucker? <laughs> Ow. Whoa, that's... Got to turn that one down a little bit. No, I popped that. <laughs> I popped, popped the it. crap out of everything. Um, I'll, try, I'll do it again. Hold Kristen's on. a blogger. No, no, no. Can I can take my earbud no, off? I was going to yell. Oh, okay. No. That hurt a little fine. bit. Fine, forget it. No, no. I okay. just wanted to put my... Go ahead. I'm ready. No, that's no, good. What? No, no. Well, Chris will have to do that on his own then. <laughs> 
How was your week, pretty lady? <laughs> All right. I think that one's a good one, too. Go on. You can just do a whole bunch of recordings for me. We're going to do, yeah. do a favorite five. Well, I'm going to guest on their show. Uh, whoa. Just by yourself? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so our favorite five today is another uh, idea from our friend, Ninja. And um, it's favorite five meals that you've either created or made your own. Or augmented. Augmented to make your own. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever created a meal, like a recipe. I'm not that good of a cook, but I have augmented or recreated or re-envisioned, if you will. I'm a visionary. I've re-envisioned mm-hmm. uh, many, many a meals. <laughs> Sometimes out of necessity, but I think mostly... If you just to, envision something, then you, don't that actually a, you don't have to re-envision it? I don't know. It's just envisioned. Hmm. That's a good question. I think. I'm not sure. But Hannah will let me you, know. Uh, yeah, and course. if I'm wrong, he'll have more than a good time of telling me, you're an idiot. <laughs> yes. By a dictionary. Yes. I know I, I, know I got the song wrong. I know I did. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying thank you to? <laughs> Hino. Oh. Um, oh, you're talking about your orchestral maneuvers in yeah, the dark. OMD, orchestra? Yeah, OMD. Orchestra? As opposed to orchestral. psychedelic furs. What is it? Or- orchestral. Orchestral? Mm, orchestral. <laughs> it's a bird? <laughs> yes. Or kestrel? Right. Um, celestial? No. So um, so it's meals we've basically made our own. So Yeah, I thought of... Or created. Yeah, I, I mean, none of these I've kind of created, but right. they're... Right, I didn't invent any of these things. I just no. changed them. But a lot of them I've had, like I've made myself without having them at another place, if that makes sense. Like I'm sure everybody has made... Not this, every, I'm right. sure somebody has made a version of what I'm going to say. Right. But these are things that I came up with on my own. It's not like, oh, I saw, I had this dish there and then I made mm-hmm. it. But I know these dishes are made somewhere. Right. Exactly. If that makes, it makes okay. no sense. And I'm just going to start off because I'm going to, I'm going to do my honorable mention first and it's going to be my tuna salad. Very nice. So um, I'm sure everybody makes a version of their tuna salad, egg and salad, there's probably somebody potato who salad. Makes- Tuna salad with egg somewhere out there. Of course. But we do like a little, it's almost like equal parts egg to tuna. So it could be called egg salad or tuna salad because or there's almost equal parts. Sometimes there's more sometimes egg. Sometimes there's no tuna. And sometimes there's no and tuna. We still call at it all. tuna salad. For sure. So there you go. So you want to do. And I've already said what's in it. So. You want to do your five then? Sure. I want to do my number five. Sure. Um, can I read that from here? I don't know. Oh, Hold wow. On. Well, Sorry about that, nice. people. Um, my number five is going to be something I think I've only made for you one time. Mm. And it was a while ago. Mm. But I used to make it all the time. Oh, freaking daily. And it's one of those really cool meals that's almost better the next day. Oh. Like after it has time to like lasagna. saturate and marinate in its own juices. Like a vagina. Could I make the sound any grosser? I don't know. No. So it's grilled. Try with the saturation. It's, <laughs> it's grilled chicken and vegetables and pasta. So... Barbecue the chicken, barbecue. You, it's usually squash. It's like summer squash usually, and then I also make like um, a sauce, not a sauce. I uh, dressing. Is there a spring squash? Um, I don't know. I don't hmm. know why it's called summer squash. If there's not a, maybe there's a winter squash because oh, like a gourd and things like that. Is that winter squash? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really anyway. think much about squash. <laughs> um, so it's grilled chicken and grill usually like zucchini slash squash, if you will. And that's all chopped up and thrown together with a dressing that is made out of red wine vinegar, olive oil, and uh, salt and pepper, and usually garlic powder as well. And um, <clears throat> and then I throw that all together over pasta, you know, cooked pasta. And then um, that's so weird because I swear to God, I thought it was raw I, pasta. I know, when you made but it I always me. feel like I have to say it. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, and that can be served cold or hot or room temperature or whatever. But it's actually, like I said, even better the next day. Could you ha- make it into a, like a freezer pop? I, I don't know why you would want to, but you probably could. Hot day? Yeah, I suppose so. Never know. But I, I know I've made it for you before, but it's been like years. Okay. Yeah. We should make it again. <laughs> yeah. My number five is kind of like a Philly cheesesteak mm-hmm. without the bread. And instead of using real meat, you... Oh, jeez. God damn it. Use <laughs> fake meat. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know what the meat, they're meat called meatless strips. Right. And I use, <laughs> uh, what do I use? I use provolone and Havarti, mm-hmm. my meatless strips, and then a bunch of different uh, pepper, bell peppers. Right. And grilled onions. And I make all that up. And then I put a lot of uh, hot 
pepper, uh, crushed red pepper. Mm-hmm. And, and then I put that on a plate. Up. Yeah. And I eat it. <laughs> yeah. And it's really good. It's a fake meat load. It's wow. <laughs> also known as a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it, that's the name of the show <laughs> fake meat load <laughs> write that down <laughs> all right meatless meat fake meat load. but it's pretty but it's actually really good because that meat's pretty good so it's just like a philly cheesesteak with fake meat on a plate with no bread so right. it's a carb free wheat free mm. gluten free i that's, don't know if the fake meat is carb free oh you know what i don't know either no, I don't know if no the meat free is gluten free either. I just assumed it was. Who really knows? No mm. one knows. It's a mystery. Is that, I don't know if it's made out of soy or corn. Life we'll have to look into it. Mystery. We'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so my number four is stir fry. Mm-hmm. And again, it's not. I did not create stir fry, obviously, but I do the best I can with what I have, and I don't have an official wok or anything like that. I used to actually have a wok wook. a long time ago. A wok. Uh huh. And, um, again, I'm not, um, I don't like my stuff quite as gingery as like Neil does, for example. So I change it to what I can do. I'm big into gingers. (laughs) Like the ginger. But, um, so I just change it to make it my own, which means, uh, no water chestnuts, no bamboo sprouts, because that's just filler. But I put it on yours for you, baby, because I love you. (laughs) (laughs) But, um. I know I like making it, but it's really um, time consuming to make. So it's always, I think it's <laughs> worth buying. Yeah, time for me it is to chop because yeah. I would like chop up all the carrots into like little strips, and I, I find it time consuming to make for me personally. Mm-hmm. But um, I like my version of the stir fry just because, like I said, I can kind of gear it to my personal tastes. Less ginger, more chicken, <laughs> and I really liked the carrots. I get a lot of carrots in there. And I don't like water chestnuts and bamboo shoots in my, my mix. Understandable. <laughs> my number four is a brie and caramelized onion sandwich. That is pretty good. You've also made that in pizza form. I have. Yes, that is and very tasty. And I did tasty. not invent any of this. Right. However, I my favorite when I make that, mm-hmm. and I haven't made it in is the bread is a croissant. Mm-hmm. So, booyah. That's a- Calorie bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really tasty, though. And it the is pizza's amazing. really good. Brie is room temperature. Yeah. You, you actually kind of panini the croissant, mm-hmm. meaning that you kind of warm it up. Caramelized onions. Onions are hot. Put it, slather it all together in there. <laughs> and Into a sando. <laughs> eat, eat that with like a, I don't know, a malt. Nice chocolate <laughs> malt. <laughs> really bringing the calories home. Yeah. But um, you've made that pizza and made it like little um, Usually smaller the... pieces of the pizza and, mm-hmm. and put that out as like flatbread, mm-hmm. as like appetizers. And your parents loved it. Yes. So it's a very good appetizer as well. Yes. So. Yeah, as a pizza. You can, <laughs> yes, actually pizza. Make, you can actually make it small appetizers, like cut the croissants yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you could. But anyway. It works better. I'm a big a pizza, fan of brie. Obviously. I mean, yeah. I just, sometimes I just sit on it. <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. Wait. Mm-hmm. My five was the grilled chicken. My four was the stir fry. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my number three mm-hmm. is going to be our version, which we, I think, discovered together, I think, kind of, sort of, of the yes. caprese salad. Mm, I think you had that before me. Oh, was it? I think so. Oh, you know what? I think you're right, because I think it's just the, like, again, it's it's just That was some other different... sh- swing and schlong that no, you discovered no, 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 that No, 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 no. I think I started doing that when I uh, lived in the place... That I lived in where we met because I was trying to think of things I could do that I didn't have to cook <laughs> right. very much. I mean, caprese salad is a caprese salad. Right. So, but I think the only thing I did is I added avocado to it when you wanted avocado. Right. So basically now our version is um, with a whole bunch of lettuce on one side and it's usually like chopped romaine or... And one side I, of the plate? One side of the plate. And um, it's also... I've also done it with kale, like a combination of mm. chopped. Not with you though, because you don't like that. That does, no, I like kale. Just with that, it doesn't right. Sound it doesn't sound me. right. And so, but I chop everything up instead of everything in slices. I pre-chop all that stuff, and then also um, a whole bunch of avocado, almost equal parts of avocado. And so, I love all of that together. And it's just that. But version there's of, tomato. Well, the tomato, the fresh, mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, and fresh basil. Right. And then also put uh, fresh garlic on it as well. Mm-hmm. 
So. And a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil, olive oil, a little bit of uh, vinegar. Balsamic. Sometimes I use balsamic. Sometimes I also use the red wine, but uh, balsamic usually for that. If I don't have it, though, I'm not opposed to using the red wine at all. But uh, the fresh garlic, I think, makes a big difference. And sometimes I just use garlic powder, too, if that's ever. But the avocado is amazing on it. So mm-hmm. highly suggest that. My number three is uh, uh, kind of odd. <laughs> so it's it's fresh corn chips, mm-hmm. uh, like tortilla chips. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't say corn chips because that would be like Cheetos. Mm-hmm. With honey and cinnamon on them. You've done that. I, you've I made that do for me anymore. before. I don't right. do it anymore. And they're pretty tasty. It's I remember really one time you made that for me, like in the middle of the night, like one of those times we got home, like really late from being out. And you, and made you were it. kind of worn out. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> Let me help you out. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a midnight snack for you. Right. Yeah. Call Here's it some what sugar. you want. Yeah. <laughs> I do, you know what? My other one that you've. Again, your glycemic index is low. <laughs> um, that you do that I really like, and I hope it's not on your list. I can't read your list from here, but um, is the like the little uh cheese on the tostada, the cheese on the that's not, and I know that you didn't invent it, but I no. don't, I've never done that's that just, that's uh, before you. That's pretty much like a whole round because I'll fry my own tortillas, right? And then you just put cheese on it, and put it in the microwave, right? So yeah. it's kind of like a nacho, but yeah. it's like one piece nacho, which makes it easier to eat, right? <laughs> I'm all about the ease, yeah. So like as an afternoon snack, every now and then I can throw a toast. Why it's so nice? Penises aren't detachable because they're like it's just easy. It's just there. <laughs> You're done. With cheese you on just it. leave anyway, it anyway. Okay. With cheese in it. All right. Um. What's my next one? It's like a cheese dispenser. Oh, this one. I don't think I've ever made this for you. Okay. But, Lucky um, for me. Well, you don't want it because it's not very healthy. No. So, um, I like not healthy things. <laughs> you actually probably would find it very tasty. And it's something that my that I taught my family that I made and I taught my family how to make. And Is it my, a pepperoni donut cheeseburger? No. And my family mm. still makes it. And every now and then I'll get like a text from my sister and she'll be like, remind me how to make this. And she calls it, which is now its name, chicken shit. <laughs> she's like how do you make that chicken shit and uh well, what is, i'm what gonna it tell is. you so <laughs> it's um chicken and mushroom sauce pasta so basically it takes the like two cans of condensed mushroom soup a whole eight ounce thing of cream cheese and oh you God. heat that up together and then you add in pre-cooked chicken chunks that I had cooked separately. So either grilled chicken that I chopped up or chicken like fried in, not fried, but like cooked in a pan and then chopped up. Could you use chicken nuggets? You probably could. Oh, Why wouldn't man. you? This is sounding so, better and better. Yeah. So the it's just, you know, the, the two cans, a little bit of milk, a whole thing of cream cheese. And that milk makes, and cream cheese. It's just a little bit of milk to, um, you know, to make what? it to, uh, make it not as thick. Oh yeah. That Cause it, be otherwise shame. it's really thick. So when you cook it, all that together, cook it down Add some spices, you know, and then pour, what put spices? the chicken in there. Well, it's just like salt and pepper and garlic powder. Okay. You know. Um, put the chicken in there. Put the chicken in there. Let that yeah. heat up. And then over pasta. Saying? And then I actually cook up like a whole bunch of egg pasta usually because it's bigger and thicker. You're welcome. Yeah. And then stick that whole thing in there and it's just in a huge pot. They call and, me the eggy Argentina. <laughs> and all of that feeds like a family of eight people. with a side salad even more. <laughs> That's so pretty good. Chicken I've shit. I've never had that. Yeah. I'd like to try it. Okay, sure. Yeah. So chicken shit. <laughs> That's Sounds what my good. family calls it. <laughs> what number am I on? Uh, two. I think you're number two. Uh, two. Yeah. So two is I make, again, not that I invented it. I'll make pasta, but with a ton of crushed red pepper and olive oil, mm-hmm. like super, super spicy, and then with uh, grilled chicken on mm-hmm. it. And again, not sometimes an original thing. Sometimes you don't even thing. use the chicken. Sometimes you don't. Yeah, but it's super it's like, sometimes. like the amount of crushed red pepper and spice is it's inappropriate, insane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it makes me sneeze when I go into the kitchen. Yeah, the pasta is just a carrier, right? For the spice, the butthole burn that you're eating. <laughs> Gross. Okay. <laughs> yes, but it is one of your uh, go-to, like it's if one of not, my drunk foods too. It's one of your drunk foods. Although but now it's, it's just. Yeah, but but I think that it's one. It's just one of your staples where you're not sure what to have. You're like, oh, I'll make mm-hmm. pasta, and it's usually that pasta. And so. and as I get older, I can't you, have things as spicy anymore. And you don't. Oh, we should make chicken wings. That's the other. Oh, I would love that if you don't mind. Um, and you don't. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. You only need like a couple ingredients, and we we'll always have, have made chicken wings dried uh, pasta in there. Yeah. So yeah, I thought about that, but I knew we had to do this. So, um, 
So my number one, if and if you listen to the show, you already know what it is, and Neil probably knows what it is. It's my murder sandwiches. Oh yes, that's my favorite, and we still make that. And well, I've been describe making what it, it is just for people who haven't. Been making heard. it since I was in my early twenties and lived in LA, and now like I'm in my forties. Yes, I was like twenty seven years ago. <laughs> twenty seven is the number of the day. Five thousand years. Ago. I am so old. Okay. So, murder sandwich Hi, is based puppies. on the Zanku's chicken recipe. So, it's um, in a pita, I put hummus, a garlic aioli version. It used to be garlic paste, but I don't know how to do garlic paste. So I do a garlic aioli and rice and um, shredded up grilled chicken. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And it's in a pita bread. I thought there was one more thing. There's hummus, garlic aioli, no, rice, right. and chicken. That's oh, it. the ale. Yeah, I was thinking mayonnaise for some yeah. reason. Well, it's basically very tasty. Mayonnaise. Yeah. And I've turned that into a murder pizza. Yes. Which is those things. Minus the mayonnaise. Yeah, but Aioli. I think I think there might be a way that we can do that to make it more moist. Mm. Mm, mm. Your favorite word. I really like the way that you did it with just the olive oil and a light coating of hummus because I had too much hummus yeah, the first too time. Much. And then just the chicken. But um, yeah. My number one is my avocado sandwich. The avocado with um, tomatoes, onion, the mm-hmm. avocado salad sandwich. So you, yeah. you get a loaf of French bread and you cut the end off about six inches to eight inches of, you know, Depending average. Depending how hungry you are. Right. And then you, <laughs> so it's the end. So it's got the, some people call it the butt or the knee of the bread or mm-hmm. the elbow. And you hollow it out. Mm-hmm. And then you take in a big bowl, you put a bunch of avocado. Chopped. Everything's chopped. Everything's chopped. Uh, chopped. Um, Tomato. I was going to say red tomato, but mm-hmm. chopped tomato, chopped red onion, garlic powder, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar if you want, and you mix it up like you're making uh, guacamole, mm-hmm. and then you pretty much shove it in the freaking bread yeah. and pound it in there. It's really tasty. And then it, you've got... So you don't have as much carbs because you pretty much just have the outside of the bread. Right, the crust. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it's a full freaking avocado explosion in It's your a face. really yummy delivery device. Like- it's a cock of... Cacavado. Wow. No. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I saw that's really good on its own. Like you could just put that on lettuce and bypass the bread altogether. But the whole half the point is you can put that in the bread and like wrap it up and it would be fine later. Like you could take that for lunch or something. That'd be tasty. Nice. Really good. That's it. That was fun. Yeah. We'll make so, chicken shit and you'll make me. There was something on yours that I think I hadn't had. Uh, the No, the cheese steak you're not a fan of. Because you don't like that those fake meat things. Well, I don't mind it. But. The Brie Carbell is Sando. Huh. Hot and spicy pasta with chicken. Chips with honey and cinnamon. I've had that. And the avocado Sando. Oh, I guess I've had all this. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. I'm going to make... You know what? I'm going to make them all in mm. one bowl. Gross. <laughs> See what it tastes like. All right. You got anything else? <clears throat> That's it. Let's get out of here. Thank Good you, everybody, stuff. for listening. Go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. We want to thank everybody for listening and emailing and supporting us and having all that fun. And we're excited to uh, tell you about Annalisa's new vlog when it's ready to go. And uh, send us your uh, favorite five meals. I'm super interested, always looking for like new recipes and stuff and like that. And send us your so. weather and your pants size. Yeah. Just for fun. <laughs> oh, if you want some free crap from us, let us know. Just good night. All right, good night. <laughs> Agent Palmer. Do you want to know the